everybody, it's Claire Paris with Paris Group Realty LLC in Portland, Oregon. And today, well, all this month, you probably noticed we're discussing fraud. Um, and today we're talking about how do I tell if a rental scam is a rental scam? So this is a hard one and I have had a lot of people call me about this and it's kind of a heartbreaker, right? So you might not know this, but a lot of scammers will take listings, take the actual listing, like say I posted a property for sale on Craigslist or on um, any other of the social sites and then scammers will take my pictures that I have um, spent hard-earned money on, upload them to Craigslist and say that the property is um, for rent. Now, the few things that I can give you as tips to just keep yourself safe is if they give you any normal reason why a human being couldn't show it, then it's probably a scam. And I know this sucks, guys, because I know you wanna like believe people and you wanna give them the benefit of the doubt, but you probably don't wanna do that with regards to rental property. So. I've had people call me, and this is, happens often, where it's like, hey, do you have that property on 123 Main Street for rent? And of course, um, my response is always no. So first big tip, look up the address online, see if it's advertised on Zillow or Redfin or Trulia or RMLS for sale. If it's listed for sale, it's probably a scam and not a real rental. Um, second thing, if you talk to the property manager and the property manager is like, I'm out of town and so I can't show it, but just send me some money, don't do that. Just please don't do that. Any real property manager is going to ask you to fill out an application. Most of them are going to be online, so you don't have to worry about um, meeting that person or sending them money, none of that's gonna be the case. Most property managers worth anything right now are having you fill out forms online and doing a credit check or a, um, or a background check or any of those things, but they're not gonna do that without you seeing the property. So if they can't meet you and show you the property and actually give you access to the property, do not give them your money. Um, those are my tips. I know they're small tips, but they're really important. Do your due diligence, double check on the property, do some research on the property, make sure it's not for sale. Um, and don't give anyone rent unless you have signed a lease, filled out an application and seen the property. Stay safe out there, friends. There's a lot of people trying to scam you and I'm doing my best to keep you safe. You take care. As always, reach out if you have any good topics for our uh, dear Claire's. I would love to hear them. We'll talk to you soon. See you next week.